Lion and Mannix, it's your boy, Mavic the Enigma McLaurin, your heavyweight champ, Yo King. Let's get right into this, man. I just came back from a long ass road trip from here to Chicago for uh, my daily departure on Karen. God rest her soul. You know what I'm saying? You know. Then I had to trek all the way back, seven hour drive each. And that's including all those stops that my parents took to uh, fill up the car and such. So I'm a little Rolex, but I'm still go ahead and do this for y'all here today. Today is Motivational Monday. You already know how I get down. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and uh, comment. You know what I'm saying? If you're new, join the E-Unit, man. Be a part of the fam. I see you out there. Don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Let's dive right in, man. The reason why I brought up my trip to Chicago recently is uh, I want you all to, you know, know and understand something. I want you all to, you know what I'm saying, understand this, you know, about life. What I learned these past four days is nothing new. You know what I mean? You have to learn to not only appreciate your time on earth, but not waste it. Not waste time, you know what I'm saying? With the, with small BS here, you know what I'm saying? You can't BS your way through life because you're gonna live up to your last day feeling empty and unfulfilled. You don't want that treatment. You don't want those problems, okay? <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. If there's anything that death has taught me, you know what I'm saying? Losing a family member has taught me. Losing a friend has taught me. Is that you only have a short time here on earth. You have to live it, you know what I'm saying, to your fullest potential. You can't waste your time here on earth because you don't know when you're next. That's the funny thing about death. That's the crazy thing about death. You just never know your net when your day is up. You just never know when you're, when you're going to go back home next. You know what I'm saying? For those of y'all wondering what going back home is, is when they cast you in a grave or cremate your ass. Other than that, you haven't made a home going yet, regardless of what your Sunday pass to tell you. But that's something else I could talk about. <sighs> so, yeah, the reason why I'm bringing this to you is I don't know how many people out there that are subscribed to me that know how to deal with a loss like me. Me, I know losses are tough. You know what I'm saying? This particular aunt, man. You know, all my family, uh, you know what I'm saying, adored her, loved her to death. I got to witness so many people come out and give their testimony about my dearly departed aunt. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the last time, a few times I saw her it was when I was a little kid and I didn't know her very well, but at least I got to meet her. And, you know, I was, I'm grateful that God allowed me to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing that this taught you, taught me, you know, never take you know, meeting family members or meeting friends or meeting anybody for granted because you never know what, when that day is coming that you will lose them or they will lose you. Just don't take those moments for granted, man. Part of me felt like I did because, you know, when I was a kid, I thought as a kid, I thought things last forever. They don't. Parents don't last forever. Family members don't last forever. Friends don't last forever. Nothing in this life lasts forever. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to cherish your shit. Count your blessings. Appreciate what you have while you're still here living and breathing on this earth. And more importantly, you know, don't waste your time getting sidetracked from your mission, your purpose, your goals, regardless of what they may be. Rather, you want to be, you know, a minister for God. Rather, you want to be, a, you know what I'm saying, a car salesman. Rather, you want to be a bodybuilder. Rather, you want to be an early life nutritionist like me. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Whatever your goal may be, man, do it to your fullest extent because you're not... You're not promised all the time in the world. There's going to be a time where, you know, it's time for you to go back to the grave, man. Go back to being dust from what God made you. Feel me? So I said to say this, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate those moments where you've had, you know, your long lost family members. Appreciate those moments that you had with them while they were alive and kicking with you. Because those, those memories, you know, last as long as you live. See, they may not be alive here. In the physical, but they're alive in here, right in the head, right up here. 
there's so many stories I can tell you about my two departed grandmothers, my two departed uncles, my departed great grandmother. Couldn't tell you so much stories about this one because I, I didn't really see her that much. But when I did see her, all I can remember was her smiling, her laughter just lit up a room, you know. At least remember something. You know what I'm saying? So that way you don't feel like you completely took her for granted like I did. But if there's anything else I'm grateful for this uh, trip back to Chicago, I got to know a lot more people from my father's side of the family. You know what I'm saying? Because I live in Minneapolis. They live in Chicago. The only family I have up here is my mom's side. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my dad's family members, some relocate, some are in Chicago, some relocated to other states and cities that I may not know of. Depending whether it's Gary, Indiana, or Omaha, Nebraska, or Des Moines, Iowa, wherever they may be. You know what I'm saying? Family, family, you know, is everything, man. Well, it's not everything, but you get it. <laughs> so, yeah. I was grateful that, you know, that was the gift that Aunt Karen left behind for me. Because I, I, don't, I don't commune with my father's side of family as much as I do with my mother's side. Because all I'm surrounded here up here is my mother's side. I have only have, like, a handful of relatives from my dad's side that actually came up here and lived up here. Other than that, majority of them are in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? How often do I get to Chicago? It's starting to look like every four years, <laughs> to be honest. But, you know, it is what it is, man. More of this video, don't uh, don't ever take those moments that you have with family or friends for granted. Because you never know what, who you're going to lose next. And you don't know if if your time is up, if your time is coming to an end. You don't know if you're, it's your time to be ready to go next. Okay? But the best thing you can do is prepare for it. That decree may mind. I don't want nobody cremating me. I want to go to the grow a grave hole. I'm trying to save as much money as I can so that way I can, you know, have a life insurance plan. You know, have a proper burial, have a proper casket, proper clothing, proper ceremony, all of that good stuff. So while you're alive, these are some things that you should be thinking about. You know what I'm saying? All this reminded me of, you know, what I need to do here on earth and how much time I get to do it because it ain't forever. It ain't forever. So understand that and believe that. Um, that's, the, that's it for today's Motivational Monday topic. I know the topic was a little sad, but it's, this video should do nothing more than encourage you to you know live life to your fullest potential and your God-given nature. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, speaking of me, I'm, it feels so back. It feels so great to be back on YouTube, guys. You don't know how bad I missed y'all. Till then, if you're new, subscribe. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that comment. Feel free to visit those websites. Leave them down below. Till then, it's your boy, the heavyweight champ, Maverick the Enigma McLaurin, saying, love y'all. Remember, heal yourself first, be a better you. Deuces.